I understand how faith can help people even when they have a good handle on reality, but what about people who aren't, they're not spiritual by nature? Good question. Um, I, I think that the essence or the core of the answer to that question is what faith is versus versus what faith is not in Judaism, right? Faith, in Judaism, faith is not a yes or no question. Do I believe? Do I not believe? That is the be all and end all. Either I have faith or I don't have faith and that's it. Faith in Judaism is supposed to be experiential. Faith is about not just believing that God exists, believing that the creator exists, but about having nurturing, cultivating a experiential, interactive relationship with the Creator. Now, yes, that's going to vary a lot. Let's take something that's different but equivalent to, to illustrate. Human beings are social creatures. We all need interactions. We all need relationships. We all need to socialize. There's a very broad spectrum of degrees. There are some people who like you know, one, two, three very deep and strong connections and relationships, and then they, they might absolutely hate going out and, you know, the conventional take on socializing and being out and about in a loud place and hanging out with tons of people. The fact that someone doesn't enjoy socializing or hanging out with, socializing or hanging out with a lot of people doesn't mean that having relationships isn't important to them. It means that when they look at someone who's the opposite end of the spectrum, who's an extrovert and has like endless supply of friends and is always out and doing something and being active, when they look at that person and if that's how you define socializing, then a person might say, yeah, you know what, socializing is like really not for me because they're looking at that version of socializing and that's really not for them. But that doesn't mean that they don't need to socialize at all. It doesn't mean that they, sh they don't need to have some degree of meaningful human-to-human -human interaction, meaningful, loving relationships and connections with other people, everybody needs that. So is the faith experience of a spiritual person also for someone who's very different in nature and isn't a spiritual person by nature? Maybe absolutely not. You know what, my relationships with the people who are close to me might not be the kind of relationships that would be interesting or valuable to you. And what the kind of socializing that's beneficial to me might be very different to the kind of socializing that's different to you. So if you look at the way I socialize and you say, well, that's not for me, that doesn't mean that socializing is not for you. And if I look at the way that someone else socializes, the way you socialize and someone else, they say, well, that's not for me. That doesn't mean socializing is not for me. That means that version of socializing is not for me. Faith is supposed to be a personal interactive experiential relationship with God, it's not a yes or no question, do I believe, do I not believe? It's a 24-7 ongoing experience. And that's for everyone. Does the experiential relationship of a person who's spiritual by nature look very different to the ideal experiential relationship of someone who's very not spiritual in nature? They don't look similar at all. They probably look completely different and they might each look at the other one and think, well, that's not really faith. It's like, yeah, not for you, but it is for them. The same way that I might look at someone else's relationship and say, well, that's not a relationship and maybe it wouldn't be for me, but maybe it is for them, right? There are lots of different kinds of fulfilling and meaningful and beautiful relationships that are going to vary for different kinds of people. Now, there is, it also depends on what you mean by spiritual, but a person can be a very sort of tangible, concrete, thinking and oriented person and not be someone that you would generally describe as spiritual. And when they look at someone who's very spiritual and they look at their faith, they're like, well, that's not for me, maybe. But that doesn't mean that they can't or that they shouldn't have their own version of an experiential relationship with the creator in a way that's natural for them and that works for them and that's going to be fulfilling and meaningful to them and satisfying to them. So faith absolutely is a spiritual person's faith experience the right thing for someone who's not a spiritual person? Probably not. But that's not the definition of faith. Faith is supposed to be 
experiential, which means by definition, it will be different for every single person. So some people's will be quite similar, but they're all gonna be somewhat different. And then some people's are gonna be extremely different because it's a relationship. And if it's a real experiential relationship, it's gonna be very different to the real experiential relationship of someone else who's different. So are they different? Yes. Is the, is the faith experience of a spiritual person for someone who's not a spiritual person? Probably not. But faith doesn't have to be like that. Faith is whatever kind of experiential connection and relationship with the creator and with the purpose of existence is right for that person. And everyone has their own variation of that. So faith is for everyone.